So I guess when you look in the comparison, uh, you got the uh, 380 Auto, uh, 38 Special, standard 38 cartridge, 9 millimeter cartridge, and a 45 ACP cartridge. The little Wonder Bullet, 22 long rifle, just does looks out of place. But that being said, most popular cartridge sold worldwide uh, to date, from what I can gather on the information. Now, it was introduced in 1887, designed by J. Stevens Ammo and Tool Company. Uh, got a great little reputation as a varmint round, a training round, cadet rifle round, uh, general purpose uh, plinking round, uh, 40 grain bullet, it's about 1200 feet per second, 131 pounds of pressure out of the muzzle. Uh, now that's out of an 18 and a half inch barrel, of course, not out of a two inch barrel. Um, very economical to shoot. Remember when I was a kid, we'd buy a box of these, a uh, box of 50 for about 55 cents. Or if we was fortunate enough to uh, get to the big retail stores, we could get a sleeve of a hundred, the plastic case. I think right around ninety-seven cents, dollar, give or take. I've shot thousands and thousands of rounds of these through uh, our old rifles. We had the old uh, Glenfield Marlin Model Sixties. Uh, they held 18 rounds of long rifle in a tubular magazine. Uh, paid about 60 bucks a piece for those rifles back when we got them as teenagers. That's what we trained with at the hunting club. That's what we squirrel hunted with. We did a lot of things with those. We used to take and actually cut a little, take our pocket knives and cut an X in them. Right, right, yeah, just a whoop, whoop, quick little X. We thought it'd help us knock a squirrel out of the tree. Not sure if it did or not, but man, we had fun. We shot a lot of them. So let's take a look at a few modern day 22 long rifle pistols. <clears throat> this here is a Heritage Arms uh, revolver, single action, with a I believe it's a six inch barrel. This is a cowboy gun, I guess you'd call it. Very economical to buy. Uh, anywhere between $125, $150. You can get them on sale every now and then for well under $100. Uh, old fashioned, got the load door on it, four stage trigger. It's got a, a block safety on it right here. Which that is a good good feature to have. Push rod rejection. Great little pistol. I call it my little tractor gun. My little tractor pistol. Good shooter. Six inch barrel. I got the six inch barrel uh, for more accuracy. And uh, give me a little bit more muzzle velocity, I think. Then again, I'm not sure. I shoot uh, just a 40 grain hollow points. And uh, I pick up some of these uh, lower velocity, lower noise rounds. Subsonic, they call them. Or uh, a little bit more quieter shooting. But they really don't run good in a semi-automatic. Not enough pressure. So... Um, this is a little pocket gun, a little 22 that I've, I've had for a few years. This is a Taurus PT-22, uh, brake barrel design. And it's 
it, it holds 10 plus 1. It's nice and small. Fits comfortably in the hand. If you look right here, his hammer fired. You see the little hammer coming back. Uh, great little gun. Just to slide in your pocket. For whatever. A lot of people uh, carry them. I think the retail on this when I bought this is right around 220 bucks, something like that. It's Taurus. It's uh, I think it's one of the first years they started making them in the USA. It even says that on the side. Made in USA, Miami, Florida. So this is not a Brazilian-made Taurus. Um, I do believe now that Heritage Arms, which that's what this is manufactured by I do believe that Taurus bought out Heritage Arms and they're now both made in the same factory I am not for sure on that don't take that to the bank as Beretta would say but that's what I've seen in some videos uh, this one has has very nice little plastic handles on with an embossed flag on it and this side, I think it's in Boston. This is USA. Yeah, kind of cool. Kind of cool. I like that. Great little tractor gun. This would be a Caltech 22 long rifle. PT 22. Oh, I'm sorry. The P 17 is the model number. 22 long rifle. Made by Caltech. Uh, out of Cocoa, Florida, is made in USA. Very lightweight, all plastic gun. Pretty much, it feels like it. Uh, it honestly, it, it it feels really cheap because it is. And it's uh, right around two hundred and fifty bucks, I think. But it shoots very well, very well. Got a nice sight picture on it. Don't know if I can line that up with the camera or not. Um, got accessory rail on the bottom. Got a unique slide action, I think. And it's the way it breaks away like that. Uh, dual mag disengagements on either side. Uh, ambidextrous trigger. Accessory rail, but it's all plastic pretty much. Uh, he was a God. I I put about I always put no more than ten rounds in a magazine like something like this. I just don't like crushed the springs on them too much. And if they feel stiff, tight, I don't do it. It's about as all I need to put in there. I'll just get come with three mags. So one reason I did that. Uh, like the purchase on that though but it's a uh, big and blocky man big and blocky a nice but it's a nice shooter for the money it was a nice shooter now if you want to step up to a uh, really nice 22 pistol this is a browning 1911 22 um considered a, i think it's considered what's called a black label it's a, uh, let me get that focused up there for you, 1911-22, and uh, man, she's a beaut, shoots really good, really well, made in uh, Morgan, Utah, I mean, my God, it's, it's one of the nicest shooting 22 long rifle pistols you'll get, you'd ever shoot, uh, but you pay the price. I think this thing is good, right around 650 bucks. And man, she's like, she's gorgeous. So it is clear everything. I clear everything before I even set it out on the table. This is, uh, I think it was a 10 plus one or 12 plus one. I usually, like I said, about 10 rounds. I load them up. I get that down to about where it feels kind of like it's starting to push that spring. That's it. I don't want to collapse the springs. I don't. If two rounds is not going to make a whole lot of a difference, <coughs> excuse me for what for what it is. Uh, a lot of people carry uh, 
22 for self-defense. And uh, I got some personal thoughts on that. I think a lot of it has to do with, well, let me explain it like this. You can shoot somebody in the hand with a 45 or a 9 millimeter or a 22 long rifle and you're not going to kill them okay but you can shoot somebody in a lethal spot with a 45 with a 9 or a 22 and it's going to stop them so it's all about shot placement it really is i've seen huge four 500 pound hogs killed during the slaughter process with a single shot 22 close range and the animal just drops and dies so it, it's about shot placement so i don't want to argue that with nobody um you need to be proficient with whatever you have and whatever you carry uh, i remember for years years and years and years police departments around the world carried 380s overseas a lot of them still do uh 38s here in the states then he went up to a 38 special 357 uh, the 40 cal 10 millimeter 45 it uh, it's it's all about how you train and how you place your shot and that's really the best advice for any gun owner and like 22 because you can care i tell you you can carry a lot of this a lot of these in one hand for a low cost or you can carry a few more a few a few of these it costs a lot more and right now 22 i think is right around seven cents a round which still ain't too awfully bad and they're they're back on the shelves so like i said 22 long rifle been around a long time great round uh years ago there was the people say well you know it's a rimfire cartridge but what they mean by that is, <clears throat> if you look in the center, there's no uh, primer. Okay, see how this got a center? It's a, it's a primer for a primer strike for to excite the gunpowder. Uh, this is a rim fire, which means your firing pin hits on the edge. And it excites it that way. Uh, reliability has come a long ways in the, in the manufacturing process. And I still have some old rounds from when I was a teenager. So we're talking they're 40 years old. And I wouldn't hesitate to uh, shoot them now. Matter of fact, I have. So that's it in a nutshell as far as 22 long rifle goes. Uh, you can get different grains, weights, bullet weights, pressures, uh, you can get uh, scatter shot, you know, bird shot, what we always called it. And good for varmints if you're inside a barn or, or whatever. Um, 22 pistol styles, there's all kinds of them. These are just four that were readily available for me to place out here on the table tonight and take a look at. Uh, do your research. You use what's comfortable for use, and by most important thing, get trained. Take training. I don't care where it's at or who it's with. Make sure it's a good, reputable trainer. There, uh, you can reach out to a lot of different organizations, gun stores, NRA aff affiliates. They can. Uh, Help you get some proper training. First time shooters to experienced. There's no substitute for training. All right, guys. That's uh, what I wanted to put out there on the table tonight as a in-the-hand review. 
Man, I really liked his browning. God, it's a beauty. Um, like, share, comment. I want to hear your thoughts on this. I really do. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, it helps the uh, that lithiogram or whatever they call it. Uh, and by all means, God bless America. Stay safe. Stay prepared. And be good to one another. Thank you.